Good afternoon and happy Sunday. Um, <laughs> today, a little chat about New Year's. Of course, it's been the theme of my talks for the last few days because it is the end of the year in like two days. <laughs> um, this is my Sunday broadcast, hence the casual attire and why it is also close to the end of the year. Um, and topic, sorry, the back up a second. The s episode number, that's the one I'm looking for, is 941, just in case you're tracking that and it's in the title anyway. And my question to you is, um, what are your, what is your, what are your wishes for the new year? And I did put parentheses resolution or intention because I've spoken about that before, and I'll give you a reminder today, and also a couple of new versions of what I've been downloading. And it, keep, it keeps evolving as well as we go along. So, first of all, if you haven't seen me do my Facebook lives before, I'll tell you all about my replays and everything you can watch at the back end of the broadcast. And if you are here today for the first time, welcome. If you're here as a, if you've been here before, thanks for coming back. I'm guessing my message is landing for you. Thank you. Um, and I did mention today's episode is number 941, so I've done a bunch of these, and that's why I want to tell you about the replays at the back end. So since it is the end of the year, slowly, slowly winding down in two days, um, yeah, today's the 29th, two days. I had to check the calendar to be right. Uh, and my question today is basically, what do you wish for the new year? Now, let me give you the resolution intention thing again, because I've talked about it several times, because it keeps, it keeps evolving in my own languaging, but basically... The way I've said it before is, um, hello Huntley, good to see you sir, um, is that in, resolutions are ego driven, intentions are spirit fueled. That's the new one, it did tweak a bit, it was spirit led, then it was spirit infused, spirit fueled, spirit supported. You get the point though, if you're doing a resolution it's your ego pushing, making things happen trying to make it happen and basically this way it lasts about two weeks as I posted in a, in a meme earlier today. Whereas an intention is something that has more room to grow, it has wings to fly, metaphorically speaking, and has room to become more of what you really want. And that also, because of the way intentions work, is it's something you give to a higher, sorry, something you offer to a higher place inside yourself, which I like to call spirit, God, the, you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, shorthand from one of my friends is Gus, which is God, universe, source. I like to talk about God, universe, and spirit, but that's my version. So you're enrolling a higher power, so to speak. You're, in, you're suddenly enrolling more possibilities because intentions tend to be more... Um, let me say it this way. When you say a resolution, like you're going to... Like, uh, like I have a resolution, I'm going to go to the gym and work out and lose weight. That's all well and good. But for most people, that usually runs out within the first two or three weeks of the year. So by the end of January, it's gone out the window back on the couch eating pizza watching Netflix or something like that an intention would be to in an intention would be framed phrased written documented so to speak as a a state of being a place to be in real time I should say in, in current time because you talk about intentions with an a um what's the word? a present tense language that's what I was looking for so instead of saying you know resolve to go to the gym work out lose weight what you say as an intention is, I intend to be taking care of myself and being, I, me, be in my ideal weight and feel and look good in my clothes or something like that. It could be that simple. You could intend to go to the gym, but that's still very much mechanical. But if you intend for the state of being, how you appear, how you feel, how you look, that is where you've got freedom. Because when you have that intention, you don't have the limitation of making it a certain way. Again, I res you know, my resolution is to go to the gym, work out, and get fit in and lose 15 pounds that's very controlled and very limited we say your intention is to be a certain way then as i said before with being spirit in, behind it and having the universe working with you there's a lot of room for for support and magic to happen magic being the key word in that so first of all your wishes for the new year please start with intentions because i think resolutions suck and I've talked about it before. So that's, that's my little rant on resolution versus intentions. So you got that one. So the second bit part of that is, what are your intentions? Excuse me. <laughs> I don't want to bias this too much. Um, what are your wishes for the new year? What do you want to create? What do you want to happen? What do you want to experience this coming year? Do you have anything around your career this year? Do you have any wishes around your current relationship or your next relationship or your own, you know, whatever that is? Do you have wishes around your health? around your fitness, wishes around your family dynamics, wishes about, I'm actually going through a list in my head because I've got a, um, a life wheel that I work with my clients, which is 12 different aspects. And I don't remember all of them off the top of my head because they're written down. But it is part of my 
and I'm giving a plug right now, just to be blatant. I'll put a link in the comments afterwards for, a, for my newest offering, which is coming up in January, actually in less than two weeks, called BFF. It's a masterclass which is balance, freedom, and flow in all areas of your life. So your life comes into balance, and you have freedom in all areas, and you get to flow. Simple enough. And basically, the end, the end result is fulfillment. That's why it's called BFF. And I'll get the links in the comments, or it will be in the comments when I sign off, so you can check it out. I, it, enrollment is open, and if you sign up before choose before Wednesday, before Wednesday, Wednesday the first, um, you're basically getting half off. So worth checking it out. Okay. Enough of the plug. Let's get back to the wishes. So. You have wishes for certain areas of your life. And again, I did say I've got a life which has 12, so there's plenty of aspects besides just health, money, relationship. And it's the three big ones, but not the only ones. Because your self-care, which could be meditation or prayer work or walking or whatever you're doing, or maybe a diet even, are all different aspects of the same thing, which is how do you relate to yourself? And what I'm trying to say, what I'm attempting to say here, is they're all intertwined, all these different things. Money, health, and relationship do fit together in some strange sort of way. And I wanted to make sure to express to you that there are many different places besides money, health, and relationships that are worth focusing on. And well, somebody told me this a long time ago. So when you have the idea of having a wheel of aspects, and again, the mind's called the, the life, life wheel diagram, something like that. <laughs> Sorry, the name slipped out. Basically, the idea being is like, imagine a wheel on a, on a um, what's that, cart? Car or a cart? Maybe a cart's better model. If the wheel's not in shape, like instead of being round, it's like dented on one side or both sides, it won't roll very well. So having balance and having con um, consistency in all areas makes it easier for your life to move forward with grace and flow and ease. So make that point. The other part is, is if you're setting, if you're setting up your wishes for the new year, how are you going to make them happen? So let me change that slightly. How do you wish that they will happen? There we go. Because you have wishes for New Year, and again, I'm, I'm trying to avoid using the term resolution and intention here because you get to decide how you want to do it. But then it's like you're going to make up a list of all the things you want to have happen, you want to wish to happen. Do you have any idea of what the action steps will be? Do you have an idea of what you're going to do day one, January 1st, to make anything happen in those areas? Maybe you're going to go, well, I'm going to go to the gym first thing on the second. Great. But is that all that you're going to do? Now, I'm not saying you need to make a whole calendar and block out everything else. That's not what I mean here. Excuse me, not what I mean here. What I'm attempting to um, <laughs> pound home is the understanding that the way you create your reality is to first of all start within. Again, intention versus resolution versus, versus resolution. When you have that internal space set of what you want to create. First of all, it creates it much easier to go in the direction you want to go in because you know where you're going. It's like having a GPS programmed. When you set your intentions in place and you understand what you want to have happen in all the different areas, it's like you turn on the GPS and put in the destination. Now the fun part is how do you get there? Now you have the GPS app on, on a, pretty the same on the Android. On the iPhone, the maps shows you a choice of driving, walking, public, public transit, or rideshare. That's four options. Now, I'm saying that just to get the idea that there's more than one way to get there in anything that you're putting focus on. You want to get healthy? One area might be going to the gym. Another area, another area might be going to bike riding every day. Another area might be eating healthier. All three combined, awesome, but any one of them will help you get closer to your goal. So having an understanding that your intention is first. What do you want to create? How do you want to get, what, excuse me, how do you want to experience? I want to get up in my house and what's and who's. <laughs> By knowing what you're really focusing on, it makes it easier to take a choice because you'll start seeing opportunities and ideas will come to you, certainly for me, of what's next. You know, I, just personal example expression, because this is about my course that I'm offering next month, so I'm going to plug it anyway, is that I've been, I've, I've launched, or I should say, um, mislaunched, maybe a better word. I've mislaunched three programs this year, as in they didn't land, they didn't go, they didn't succeed, they didn't launch because there was something missing. And so for me, I had to get clear about what my why was, what was the result I wanted to create, what was the power I wanted to deliver, what was the support I wanted to offer to people. And that actually became balance, freedom and flow. It wasn't planned to be a course, it was just a teaching I was putting out on Facebook Live, I did a few of them. But then I started seeing that there's all the stuff I've, I've got 30, more than 30 years of background that I can condense to a degree into three months worth of 
masterclass group work. So BFF, the masterclass, has was born, or should say launched. Um, well, the excuse me, registration was launched about a week ago, actually a week before, it was before Christmas, because I had to make those mistakes first to get there, which means basically knowing that my intention is much clearer because I didn't have clarity before. So getting clear intention, I'm telling you from my own experience and mistakes, having clear intention first is huge. Having clear intention at the beginning is transformational. Having clear intention first is the best first step you can take. If this stuff is exciting to you and you want to get some help in this area, especially that way, you want to be in my BFF masterclass because it's going to start with that. It's going to build out from that in a way you haven't even seen before. At least I think so because I haven't seen it myself. Um, <laughs> it's going to be an amazing journey. But I do invite you to check it out. If there's something you want to have some support, if, if nothing else, you want support for the first three months of the year to really get going on your goals and dreams and visions, whether or not you use intentions or whether or not be biasing towards that, I recommend you join the BFF Masterclass. If you're feeling that one area of your life isn't working, but the rest of them are, I still recommend the BFF Masterclass because we're going to cover all the areas. And if you're specifically focusing on one place, you'll turbocharge it through the course of the BFF Masterclass. There's so much in there that I know will help you with what you're working on. That anything you're finding that you want to up level in 2020, that you found that 21 team was a, well, if it's any like. <laughs> <laughs> if 2019 was anything like my 2019, you want to be in the masterclass in January. I'm doing it for myself too, so I mean, I'm going to be in there with you and working on some of my own goals. I'm not going to be just teaching this because, oh, don't even get me started on teaching, not learning. Um, I'm in it too, so I'd love you to join me in the masterclass because I'll be leading it, but also being a participant myself because i got some things to work on this year. I'd love you to join me. So again, link will be in the comments for the BFF masterclass. I do invite you to check it out, to say yes. Sign up now before the new year because you'll save a lot of money, just to be clear. And also you'll get some more advanced um, support as well. I've got a few things I'm going to throw out to people who sign up early because I'm like that. So I hope you got some insight from this teaching. And if you haven't, why not? No, if you haven't, maybe you want to start looking into this. Start looking into how you want to set up your new year and a new paradigm, a new, resu a new resolve and you understand it, what you want to manifest and create and experience this coming year. 2020 has a lot of portent about it. Portent. P-O-R-T-E-N-T, in case you wonder where that was. Um, people talk about having clear vision because it's 2020, you know, because it's vision. Why not? Why not have a clear vision for this year? In my BFF Masterclass, you'll have that. You'll, exp you'll express that and you'll get results from that as well. So I invite you to check it out. Again, link will be in the comments. And... Also, I recommend you watch my last cut few broadcasts. I've been talking about this past year, about lingo, having completion, being, being grateful. Lots of components that you can use right now. If you look at my last week's worth, probably since Christmas, of Facebook Lives, they will all help you to clarify where you're going and where, you, where you've been. So that's my invitation to you to check it out because I know how this works. I've had lots of practice and made a lot of mistakes, but I've learned from every one of them. So... That's my invitation to check that out. Um, I will also tell you where you find the replays because I didn't tell you that at the beginning. Beginning, if you haven't seen the broadcast before, I'll tell you about that. Again, look at me in the comments for my BFF Masterclass. Check it out, have a look, sign up, get in there, get started. Um, replays. So this is my daily Facebook Live. I do every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time, seven days a week, right here on my personal page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby. The replays go to two places. The first place is my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author. Although, to be blunt, Facebook doesn't show them all. Simple as that. I don't know why, but they don't. So you can see a couple of hundred of those, the most recent 150, 200 are there. You can I like my page as well whilst you're there. Why not? But if you want to catch all of my broadcasts, then option two is my YouTube channel. I back them all up and put them onto YouTube because you got to take care of, you got to take care of your media, so to speak. So if you go to my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby, excuse me, youtube.com slash user slash Barry Selby, that's the full title, Subscribe to my channel. There's a playlist on there called Messages from the Masculine. You can find every single one of my talks. And this is from newest to oldest. You can search through by keywords and everything to find what you're looking for. My Facebook Lives, all 940 plus, are here to help you have more fun, more joy, more success in your life. If you want to go deeper than just watching my Facebook Lives once in a while, join my Masterclass. Starting in 10 days. 
10 days? Yeah, 10 days. And it will change your life for the better. Let me be clear about that. <laughs> so with that, thank you for watching. I will see you again tomorrow with more stuff about the ending of the year because it is coming to the end of the year. And again, check out the link in the comments. Do your due diligence. Have a look. If you have any questions, message me over social media. If you have any questions about this topic, put them in the comments below and I'll respond when I sign off. And uh, I think that's about it. I thank you for watching. I will see you again tomorrow, same time, same channel. And as always, please take care of yourself. I'll see you again tomorrow.